A story of resilience. This flag survived the worst of Hurricane Florence as it came ashore. Tonight, it's headed for Ohio. A Westside family bidding nearly 11 grand for it in an auction. That family's connection to the flag is more than just a name. In the flag, they saw a brother's fight and strength in the face of a storm of his own. Evan Miller joins us now on how that flag brought a family and a community together. Evan? Yeah, so this was one of the most captivating views of the power of Hurricane Florence. Social media was glued to it, and somewhere along the way, this flag earned the nickname Kevin. It's a little silly, sure, but for the Caruso family, it felt like it was just meant to be. Sometimes the storm seems too much. Every one of us, we all have challenges in our life. And we aren't sure. We all have storms that we need to get through. We can weather it. But just stay courageous and stand tall and stay firm. And then we find inspiration. For Mike Caruso and his family, a flag that just wouldn't let go came at just the right time. I say, that's Kevin. He, 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 he was a fighter. And again, in, in our lives, how this inspires us as a family, just never quitting. Caruso's oldest brother, Kevin, was in his own storm, the last weeks of a battle with prostate cancer. After Hurricane Florence cleared out, this flag was taken down from the frying pan tower off the North Carolina coast. It had earned a nickname online weeks earlier. The nickname was Kevin and it was now up for auction. Be resilient and fight and just never give up. And see, that's, that's the legacy that Kevin has done for his children and grandchildren. Kevin Caruso died Sunday morning. His family won the bid for the flag Sunday night. All the Caruso boys went to Elder. Kevin graduated in 1972, Mike a year later. To hear his brother Mike talk about that flag and what it stood for, I, I think it was just a, a beautiful piece. And it has brought that alumni community together already. And that's really what Mike Caruso wants this all to be about. He'll get the flag this week and mount it. And whether it ends up staying in Cincinnati or moving, there is a museum that's interested. Caruso says he hopes it inspires. I have to believe that somewhere through that, there are going to be individuals that see this and read this, and, and maybe that, that will change their heart and their minds about things and, and their life. Maybe, just maybe. Kevin Caruso ran his family's company before moving out of the tri-state. I learned today he always talked about moving back. All the proceeds from that auction, the $10,900 the Caruso family spent, have since been pledged to the American Red Cross, guys. Hmm. I mm. love that story. What a terrific story. And I remember that flag, that video, when mm -hmm. all that coverage oh, we kept was happening. Sure, sure. They actually right. had a live cam of it that would just stayed up back oh, here on one they? of our okay. satellite shots, so you could just always kind of see what it. What a fine ending to the story, too. All the yeah. money goes really to the Red is. Cross. Yeah. yeah.